Welcome to Daily IQ. Today 19th October 2024. In this video, I will teach you top 21 current affairs MCQ with detailed explanation. Question number 1, who is set to become the 51st Chief Justice of India? Answer is Sanjeev Khanna. Justice Sanjeev Khanna is set to become the 51st Chief Justice of India. following the recommendation by current chief justice of india dy chandrachud in a letter to the union law ministry justice khanna the second most senior judge of the supreme court will take over the position after justice dy chandrachud's retirement on 10th november 2024 question number 2 indian navy's second very low frequency vlf radar station is inaugurated in which state Answer is Telangana. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated the Indian Navy's second very low frequency VLF radar station in Dambude Forest, Telangana. It is the Navy's second VLF communication transmission station in India. The VLF station will be located in the Pudur block and will cover an area of 2900 acres. The project will be built at a cost of 3200 crore rupees. The first VLF radar station in Skattabomman is located in Tirunelveli, Tamil Nadu. Question number 3 Who has retained the top spot on Forbes India's 100 riches 2024 list? Answer is Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Ambani, chairman and MD of Reliance Industries Limited, has retained the top spot on Forbes India's 100 riches 2024 list with an estimated net worth of 119.5 billion US dollars Gautam Admi chairman of Adani group was ranked second on the list with an estimated net worth of 116 billion US dollars Savitri Jindal the matriarch of the OP Jindal group was ranked third position with net worth of 43.7 billion US dollars question number 4 who has recently sworn in as the chief minister of haryana answer is nayab singh saini nayab singh saini of the bharatiya janata party was sworn in as the chief minister of haryana for the second consecutive time on 17th october 2024 Nayab Singh Saini is the 11th Chief Minister of Haryana. He became the Chief Minister of Haryana for the first time on 12 March 2024 after Manohar Lal Khattar's resignation. Bhajan Lal is the longest serving Chief Minister of Haryana. He was Chief Minister for 11 years and 10 months. Question number 5 What is the name of India's first airport-based self-operated indoor air quality monitoring facility? Answer is Pavna Chitra. Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, has unveiled India's first airport-based self-operated indoor air quality monitoring facility, Pavna Chitra, at Thiruvananthapuram International Airport. It is an off-grid monitor powered by indigenous indoor solar cells developed by CSIR National Institute for Interdisciplinary Science and Technology NIST using local materials. Question number 6 who has been identified as India's second highest butterfly diversity hub? Answer is Kajiranga National Park. Kajiranga National Park a UNESCO World Heritage Site boasts an impressive 446 butterfly species securing its position as India's second highest butterfly diversity hub just behind Namdafa National Park located in Arunachal Pradesh the first ever butterfly conservation meet 2024 was held in September 2024 to focus on the detailed study of butterfly species in Kajiranga question number 7 who has emerged as india's top import source from april to september 2024 answer is china 
China has surpassed other nations to become India's largest import source between April and September 2024, with imports valued at 56.29 billion US dollars, marking an 11.5% increase from the previous year. During the period, the top 10 import sources of India were China, Russia, the UAE, the US, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, Korea, Switzerland and Singapore. During the period, the United States emerged as the top export destination for the country, with outbound shipments increasing by 5.62% to $40.38 billion. Question number 8. Who represented India at the 23rd SCO Council of Heads of Government meeting 2024 in Pakistan? Answer is DRS Jaishankar. External Affairs Minister D.R.S. Jashankar represented India at the 23rd meeting of the Shanghai Cooperation Organizations, SCO Council of Heads of Government, held in Pakistan, on 16 October 2024. The two-day meeting, held on 15 and 16 October 2024, was hosted by the Pakistani Prime Minister, Shahbaz Sharif. This was the first visit of an Indian minister to Pakistan after the 2015 visit of the then External Affairs Minister, Sushma Swaraj. Question number 9. Who led the Indian delegation at the 149th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union? Answer is Om Birla. The 149th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union, IPU, was held at the IPU's headquarters in Genoa, Switzerland, from 13 to 17 October 2024. The theme of the 149th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union was Harnessing Science, Technology and Innovation STI, for a more peaceful and sustainable future. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla addressed the 149th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union IPU, and emphasized the need for multilateralism in the world. Question number 10. Which Indian bank has recently inaugurated its first branch in Singapore? Answer is HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank has inaugurated its first branch in Singapore, effective from 15th October 2024. The branch was inaugurated by Rakesh Singh, the group head of international banking. HDFC Bank's international operations now include five branches, those branches in Hong Kong, Bahrain, Dubai, and Singapore. The bank also has an IFSC banking unit, IBU, in Gujarat International Finance Tech City. Question number 11. Who is set to replace Ibrahim Shahib as the top Maldivian envoy to India? Answer is Ashat Azima. Ashat Azima is set to replace Ibrahim Shahib as the Maldivian envoy to India. The appointment aims to repair and reinforce ties with India, which is considered one of the Maldives' closest bilateral partners. Azima has been in the Foreign Service since 1988 and served as the Maldivian ambassador to China from June 2019 to September 2023. Ibrahim Shahib was appointed as the Maldivian ambassador to India in October 2022. Question number 12. Who has been roped as brand ambassador of the Garuda Aerospace? Answer is MS Dhoni. Former Indian captain Mahendra Singh Dhoni has been roped as the brand ambassador of Chennai-based Garuda Aerospace, one of India's leading drone startups. MS Dhoni commenced his association with Garuda Aerospace in 2022 after 100 drones were flagged off by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 100 locations. The vision of Garuda Aerospace is to make India a drone hub by 2030. Question number 13. Who has been appointed as the National Ambassador by Indian Cybercrime Coordination Centre, I4C? Answer is Rashmika Mandana Actor Rashmika Mandana has been appointed the National Ambassador for Promoting Cyber Safety by the Indian Cybercrime Coordination Centre, 
I4C under the Ministry of Home Affairs. In her capacity as ambassador, Rashmika will direct national initiatives to raise public awareness of the risks associated with cybercrime, such as deepfake videos, online fraud, cyberbullying, and dangerous content created by artificial intelligence. Question number 14. The seventh edition of the International Solar Alliance Assembly will take place in which city? Answer is New Delhi. The 7th International Solar Alliance Assembly is scheduled to occur at Bharat Mandpam in New Delhi from November 3rd to 6th, 2024. This significant event will bring together leaders from 120 member countries to discuss crucial topics such as solar energy adoption, mobilizing finance for deployment, and global climate action. Question number 15. Where has Niti Aayog hosted the second international methanol seminar? Answer is New Delhi. Niti Aayog has organized the second international methanol seminar in New Delhi on 17th and 18th October 2024, focusing on methanol's potential as a low-carbon fuel. The seminar aims to highlight methanol's role in green energy and showcase innovations in transportation, power, and shipping. India's Methanol Economy Initiative, launched in 2016, has been collaborating with the Methanol Institute, USA, to promote methanol as a clean energy source. Question number 16. Who has been appointed as the Special Secretary in the Ministry of Home Affairs? Answer is Praveen Vashista. Senior IPS Officer Praveen Vashista has been appointed as the new Special Secretary, Internal Security, in the Ministry of Home Affairs. He will succeed the incumbent, Sivgami Sundari Nanda, who is set to retire on 31st December 2024. Vashista, a 1991 batch IPS officer from the Bihar cadre, will serve in this key role until 31st July 2026. Question number 17. Which bridge has been renamed as Captain Amit Bharadwaj Setu? Answer is Kaksar Bridge. Kaksar Bridge has been renamed Captain Amit Bharadwaj Setu to honor the sacrifice of Captain Amit Bharadwaj during the Kargil War. During the 1999 Kargil War, Captain Amit Bharadwaj of the 4 Jat Battalion was deployed in Kaksar, Kargil. Leading a search and rescue patrol, he successfully saved his platoon from an ambush by infiltrators, ultimately sacrificing his life in service to the nation. Question number 18. The 40th Raising Day of National Security Guard was held on. Answer is 16th October. On 16th October 2024, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has celebrated the 40th Raising Day of the National Security Guard, NSG. The National Security Guard, NSG, was established on 16 October 1984 in the aftermath of Operation Blue Star, aimed at eliminating Sikh extremists from the Golden Temple of Amritsar. The motto of the National Security Guard is Sarvatra Sarvuttam Suraksha, meaning best security everywhere. Question number 19. Who has been appointed as the Director General Medical Services, Nevi? Answer is Kavita Sahai. Surgeon Vice Admiral Kavita Sahai took over as the Director General Medical Services, Nevi. An alumnus of the Armed Forces Medical College, Pune, she was commissioned in the Army Medical Corps in 1986. In 2024, she was awarded the Sena Medal and in 2018, she received the Vishisht Seva Medal for her exceptional service. Question number 20. From which country has India recently recalled its ambassador? Answer is Canada. India on 14th October expelled six Canadian diplomats after recalling its High Commissioner in Ottawa. 
This comes following Canadian government designated Indian High Commissioner and other diplomats persons of interest in connection with the probe in the murder of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. India has repeatedly rejected Canada's allegations that India is linked to the murder of Nijjar. Question number 21 Who has launched the Europa Clipper mission to investigate Jupiter and its moon? Answer is NASA. NASA has launched a mission to investigate Jupiter and its moon, Europa. The mission is named Europa Clipper and aims to study Europa's icy surface and subsurface ocean. Europa is considered one of the prime locations in the search for life beyond Earth. Europa is slightly smaller than Earth's moon and has an ice sheet estimated to be 10 to 15 miles thick. Thanks for watching full video. You can join in our membership plan for daily, weekly and monthly current affairs PDFs. Please contact me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is 9700200378.